Hello Lilas, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you're not subscribed to this channel, go ahead and subscribe now by clicking the red subscribe button. Click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And guys, if you want to support this channel, please join my channel membership. It is called the Chatterbox. The link is in the description bar or you'll see a join button next to your subscribe button. You do have to be at least 18 years old or older to join and it is a dollar and 99 cents a month. Now, first of all, let me answer a question that uh, someone asked in the comment section of a previous video. What is a Lola? So I think I forget um, the exact name. First of all, you guys know my memory is bad. So I remember the character in the book is Lola. Um, but my friend slash Dolly says, says corrected me and said it's, I think it's Lila. But I started calling you guys Lola because in that book, this lady would, she would house sit for very wealthy people and she would look with binoculars through other people's windows and she would make up stories of what she thought these people were and what type of careers they had and you know all this stuff um it was like she's peeking into people's lives and assuming and i feel like on youtube that's kind of what we do we get a little glimpse of a person personality or what they tell us and what they allow us to see we take note of their backgrounds some of us is not that nosy but some of us are like i'm noting what's in your background you got a toothbrush laying out you got a cup sitting there or this person is just in her video she just keep fidgeting and have to have everything in place i, I figure she's like this most OCD type person or whatever. Um, some people seem uptight. Like they probably just like the worst person to hang out with. And if you want to go have fun, cause they're going to be like, are you sure you want to do that? You know, so we make all these assumptions based off of peeking in each other's windows. So I call you guys Lola's because I'm allowing you guys to peek inside my window. So anyway, that is that. Um, I first want to say this is Paris Mia Moore. Paris Mia Moore is the oldest reborn I have she is the second custom baby that I had done um my very first yogi baby um Yolanda Yolanda Boy Glover um I've had Paris in my collection for seven years um she still look the very same as she did from the very beginning her texture is very thick almost like an orange pill thick um I believe it was one of the very first times that yogi um, experimented on doing texture and doing it as thick and she did it this thick because she knew I was a person that liked to change my babies a lot and I was a youtuber etc etc and that is what is called great artists catering to the use of these dolls a lot of artists you know they paint the dolls and stuff and then they tell you basically like don't play with the dolls because they're not toys so to speak but they know that's what we do so why not try your hardest to make it as good as quality as you can so that it can be a little bit more durable for us to be able to handle our dolls that you know that is one of my pet peeves I when I see artists say that it kind of turns me off a little bit from them I get it now that I paint what they're saying and they're trying to prevent having problems or people coming back to them saying that they have having paint issues etc etc and then some collectors do do way too much with their dolls I mean come on you know I see people trying to you know bathe their reborns as if they're silicone babies no they don't need water just take a brush a dry paint brush or whatever and brush them off I don't I don't feel you need a damp cloth or anything unless you got some type of ink or something on it and you're trying to get it off real quick before it settles into the paint. Um, now her hair, I'm going to do that now. But, you know, one of the things, you know, I want to point out, and I've said this before many times before, and it's not to discredit artists or anybody, you know, thoughts or opinion, but this is my opinion because I've, I've found this to, to happen a lot is um a lot of times we get people saying um these type things because they're not confident in their work um you know it's just like you know with silicone babies there's a lot of mistruths out there and 
sure I've had problems with every single baby not I didn't say problems I've had things happen with every artist that I've worked with I've had a scenario where something you know might have not went correct or I might have had a something this or that um at one point or another especially if I bought multiple babies from them I'm not saying that I've had you know issues with every doll I had that came came out kind of wrong but what I'm saying is is that no artist is perfect not one and yes there's a possibility that you know something can go wrong um it, there can be paint loss there can be peeling they can be different things no fault to the collector just you know we are dealing with paint we are dealing with different mediums um different chemicals materials that you know can have issues um so there's a lot of variables in that um but again this is art um it is an interactive art is what i call it um but for the most part, there are particular artists that I do trust work more than I do others because they have sat and took the time to try to master the quality and the durability of their dolls. Um, you know, a lot, like I said, a lot of times people say these things because they don't know how or don't understand and they do it to protect themselves basically at the end of the day you know it's just like you know people were having such a fit about the soft silicone at one point they were saying oh my god the soft silicone is just not durable it's just gonna you know crumble it's gonna tear easily and then all this because they didn't want to pour it or didn't know how to pour it oh it's harder to paint you know blah 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 da, 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 da. and then the next thing you know six months later or a year later guess what they got on their um on their page they're pouring soft silicone same as drinking wet drinking wet it's gonna cause mold it's gonna mildew in your doll it's not a good thing to do i would never do drinking wet armatures poke through the holes of the dolls blah 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 blah. next thing you know guess what they're doing armatures drinking wet soft silicone everything that they talk again oh but see the way that i do mine is you know it's different so it works oh okay because you know you're doing it it's okay so you got to be careful, you know, the information that you take in um, is just the same as, you know, collectors that sell faulty products or, you know, resell their problems, you know, and don't want to really just say, hey, this dog got an issue. They'll just make it seem like that's the norm. It's not the norm. It's a one off or it's, it's something that just happened. Um, you know. But, you know, like I said, I'm not saying this to discredit any artist or anything like that. I mean, there are artists that's known for having the same issues over and over with their dolls and, you know, stuff like that. But people, I like to believe, because I like to believe the best in everybody. I like to believe that everybody try to put out their best. Um, some people, it's obvious, they just don't care. They're just trying to make money. Um... And that's on them. Um, I'll tell you straight up. Like I. I try to do my best with these dolls. When I work on them. But guess what. I'm not perfect. And there may be a doll that have an issue. If I feel like the issue. Is within something that. Maybe. A defect or something. That I could have done differently. To prevent it. I'm going to do everything in my power. To try to correct it within reason. Now if it's. Six months, two years later, baby, you on your own. And then the, the same thing with, um, you know, like I said, some of us are doing too much. We're around here trying to, you know, make, make these dolls move like they got armatures and they don't, you know, all this stuff. Then that's a different thing. If the collector is mishandling the doll, yeah. But it just shows, like they say, oh, you know, eventually the doll's going to rub all their hair out. Parents haven't lost any hair, okay? Um, any little patches or, you know, this was way back when, before Yogi started really rooting, micro-rooting and all that stuff. So she got a little plug of hair here and there somewhere. But that's the way she was. And nothing's changed. 
I mean, and she's still beautiful. You can tell that, you know, once I style her hair. But, you know, it's like they say, oh, you got to lay it on a satin pillow. You can't do this. You can't do that. Let me tell you something. Oh, dressing your doll eventually is going to, you're going to cause problems. Like I said, when I first got Paris, this is no lie. I know it was overboard. I realized that after the fact and I stopped doing so much with my dolls because out of fear of messing them up. But Paris was the first really, you know, baby that I fell in love with that really got me hooked with this hobby. And I used to dress her two times, sometimes three times a day doing like outfits of the day her morning outfit and her night routine every night for at least six months straight. And I can promise you guys, I can go over her with a magnifying glass and show you her details are still very much the same. Her um, paint is still the same. It hasn't cracked, I haven't peeled. Um, she has painted um, the front of her hair has like um, painted baby hairs and rooted baby hairs. Um, and guess what? It's still good. I've laid, you know, stuff. I washed her hair. I conditioned her. When I first got her, um, Yogi had tried out some new more hair. I'm not going to say the person. Here it is because I don't want to make them think that I'm trying to discredit them because they're well known. Um, but it was bleeding. It was her first time trying it and it, it was bleed it used to bleed. Yogi told me what to do. I think it was cold water with a little little look put a little conditioner on it, let it sit, then rinse it out with cold water and then rinse it till you don't see the color no more. And I did that and it doesn't bleed, you know, really anymore. Like you see. Um and that was years ago, like right after I got it. In fact, I did a video showing me washing it. And I used to wash her hair every now and then. And I still, I will wash my baby's hair every now and then or rinse it. Basically, like any, you know, mohair, um, not mohair, um, fabric softener or anything that I use in it. Right now, I'm just using water, um, which is mostly what I just use. Like this is just water. It looks a little dingy because it used to have fabric softener in it, but... That's mostly what I just use in my babies for the most part. Every now and then I put the more the stuff in there. Her hair used to be very used to matte a lot, but ever since I did the um, fabric softener and the water in there at least one time and combed through it and stuff, her hair doesn't tangle anymore. So, um, you know, some of the things that people could tell you instead of, you know, just telling you mistruths or just tell you how to work with it. You know, work with the product. You know, there are artists that I love work. Um, I love their sculpting. And I'm not going to say their name, but I, I love their sculpting. But <clears throat> the quality is not where I would want it to be to spend, you know, spend the money. But if I ever came across and had the opportunity to get one of their babies and I wanted to get it, I would get it knowing that this is what's likely to happen. But with having in mind what I would do to help prevent it or to fix it. Now, I'm not telling you you should go out and buy, you know, faulty dolls. I'm just telling you, you know, me because I've learned how to paint myself and stuff like that. I feel like I can kind of play around a little bit, a little bit more, especially on second market if I get something, maybe. But even then, like you can't, like people be like, oh, will you fix another person's doll? No, I can't. I don't know these people colors. I, I can't match up their product. I don't know what they use. You know, um, not everybody using what they say they're using. You know what I mean? Like you, when you're dealing with silicone, you know, they say it's platinum silicone, but we don't know if they're using Chinese silicone or whatever, you know, or not. We just know what they tell us. So trying to go behind people is kind of hard. So I try not to do that. Um, I had one doll that I did paint over only because I needed the doll sole and it wasn't settling the way it was painted. So I had to add some paint to it. In a, any normal situation, I would never do that. Um, but yeah, it's just some of the, 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 the mistruths that people tell um, or things that people say. And I just, I don't agree with it. But, you know, everybody have, is entitled to their own opinions. 
and able to say whatever freedom of speech or whatever they want to say. But I'm just telling you guys that a lot of times when artists tell you that stuff, it's basically because either they don't know what they're talking about or they have those type of issues with their work and they just assume that that's the norm. That this, this happened with, with everybody because they can't figure out how not to do this or that. So um, just FYI, um, just to answer a question, um, I am still bonded to Paris. I do still love her very, very much. Um, I put her away a lot of times because there's, I didn't have a spot necessarily for her. I didn't make a spot for her because at one point I did kind of like, um, you know, lose interest because I was dealing with shiny and new, but I never got to the point where I told, like if I, if the moment I pick her up, it's like, Everything is like I just got her all over again. Um, but, you know, sometimes, you know, you go through these phases, like I was telling you guys before, where you 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 want the latest and the greatest and you 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 start to get excited about the new things. And then it don't help that you guys make it sound like, oh, though, oh, she's great because she got the latest new such and such doll, you know, and all this and stuff. So you you really those are the dolls you gravitate towards sometimes. But, um, yeah, I'm going to work with her a little bit more as far as, like, her clothes and stuff. She still has three-fourth arms. Um, I did put her on a, you know, full limb body because, as you can see, her legs are really long. So, she didn't need the three-fourth limb. Um, she really has full legs. So, she didn't need that body on the body. And I wanted her to be able to wear a diaper. And I also, she's also on a custom do sway body. I always done this from the time I learned to switch out bodies. I used to always immediately order new bodies for my babies and change their bodies out because I used to have to reweight re my babies. I've always reweighted my babies because I, you know, the way that I like the way that they feel. Um, just looking her over really quick. But yeah, so and her vinyl is soft. Um, but yeah, she's. So this is Miss Paris Mia Moore. She is the queen of the nursery. She is the original queen of the nursery. She is the one that started everything. Um, her like hairy forehead and stuff like that is more like my second daughter. Um, the artist daughter, she, she was like the baby that kind of represented that baby. Um, the first baby that I had that I was crazy about was London. If you guys remember, it was the very first box opening I ever uploaded to YouTube. She reminded me of my first daughter. So it was kind of like collecting babies that resembled my, my children. But yeah, nevertheless, um, that's Paris me and more. And I hope you guys enjoy watching her. And like I said, I've had her for seven years. Seven years. And the girl is still amazing her paint everything is still there she's 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 gorgeous she don't have any any flaws um still have all her eyelashes still have her you know her all her hair um yeah so anyway um her painting still fits in with blends in with the rest of my baby paintings to date you know <laughs> so um yeah so anyway, thanks guys for watching again. I know this has been a long video, but I hope you enjoyed it anyway. Don't forget to leave me a comment below. Um, I will answer your questions um, and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you.